Hey everybody, welcome back to Stock Voyager. I'm Jer. Um, I have not been this excited about a brand in a little while. Um, and I'm excited about it because it like, I don't know, it just, it seems great to me. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, we're going to take a look at it. Let's say the brand is uh, Splash Beverage. Uh, their symbol is S-Bev. Let's let's go look i've been looking at it for a minute now it's actually been on my watch list for this last week there were they had some news earlier this week and they kind of shot up on that news it was that they were going to be selling at some walmarts or something but we're going to cover this whole thing i i want to i'm i'm like i said i'm excited <laughs> let's go to bam okay so splash beverage group now then, the most exciting brand that they have is this, this tap out. Where'd it go? Yeah, this tap out. That's the most exciting brand in my opinion. Um, but they also, something that I didn't realize is that they also own a tequila uh, company and a um, wine company. And Sendria. Okay. This looks good, right? Okay. So they own Popo Loco, uh, Copo Divino, uh, Drink Salt Tequila. I think it's Salt Tequila. Um, and then Tap Out Drinks. Each of them is like, a, looks like a decent brain in my opinion. Um, this is their leadership. Robert Nistico. He is the chairman and CEO of Splash Beverage Group. 28 year a beverage in excuse me industry veteran robert was the fifth employee and vp general manager for red bull north america where he led the startup from zero sales to 1.45 billion dollars in sales that alone is like what um now then keep in mind that this company that splash beverage is um, around a hundred million, less than a hundred million market cap right now. Uh, William Meisner is the president and chief marketing officer of Splash Beverage Group, a proven leader uh, with more than 20 years of success in growing consumer brand companies with both large multinational and medium sized entrepreneurial organization. Meisner's expertise, eh, expertise expertise, sorry, it includes multiple CEO roles, revamping both healthy and distressed companies. Okay, let's see. Oh, wow. Sweet Leaf. We know what they are, right? Sweet Leaf Tea. You've had it. Probably. You've seen it at least. Um, Genesis Today Incorporated. Taza. Pronto of Joint Venture Group, uh, Distant Lands Coffee, and uh, Cafeta Systems. Okay. Whoa. Jones Soda? You had to have heard of Jones Soda. Uh, Talking Rain Beverages, uh, Chief Marketing Officer for Fuse. Wow. Brand Director for Sobe, which is PepsiCo. Um, and Tetra Pak. Wow. Okay. Uh, Sanjeev Javia, uh, VP product development for Splash Beverage. He is a founder and president of Javia Wellness Group. Sports nutrition expert. Okay. Ada Aragon. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Um, EAS, uh, Muscle Milk, Labrada. Okay, wow. This this group here is pretty amazing. Okay. Um, Splash Beverage Group is constantly innovating. Okay, so this is telling what they are. Again, this is their brands. Now then, we look at their financial information. We're going to look at that really quick here. Um, they, in the last four quarters, uh, the first quarter, they didn't have any information. Um, the last three quarters were 
2.42 billion, 3 point or million, uh, 3.29 million, 2.83 million for a total of seven and a half million revenue. Now then they've lost 23 million over the last four quarters, but this is because they are just getting started up and running this company and getting it to where it needs to be. The leadership I trust in, I believe in, I, th I think that they're great as we just saw. Um, 13 D 13 G uh, was filed on in September. Um, LK family limited partnership owns 9% of the company. Okay. Uh, this was their prospectus, which with an offering price of $4 to get a total of uh, 15 um, million. Their lockup end date. This is important for people. So this was on June 10th. And they agreed that they wouldn't do anything. Basically, the shares would be locked up. The um, of the owners of uh, the executives. would be locked up um, for six months. Sorry. Um, 180 days. That is passed. So the lockup period is already done. So that's out of the way. That's something you don't have to really worry about. Um, then what was... I saw something about incentive. see what they're they don't have the 20 uh, 22 incentive obviously on here yet okay so the reason why i'm saying to watch this stock is because after the news they kind of dropped off a little bit but then they kind of oh wow oh whoa oh they went way higher today what are they doing in one day wow they are up 66 percent today so, <laughs> so apparently people were a little bit ahead on this and also were watching this. Um, that's pretty amazing. So to me, if I look at this, now I'd want this to come off of this price. You're going to have a lot of people getting in for FOMO. So I'd want this to come off of this price a little bit. If it will, it might not. Um, 354, 399. I don't think, to me, I don't think it's too unreasonable to think that they're going to hit their 52 week high and probably go higher than that uh, very quickly, actually. Um, in my opinion, that's not financial advice. I, I'm not telling you what to do. Their market cap is only $102 million. The brand recognition of tap out is great. And it's so great that you go to Walmart and they are sold out, out of stock. They are sold out. So it's just, Cap out. Like they're showing other stuff because they are sold out, but um, the tap out drink is is out. It, it's sold out. That's wild. Okay, so yeah, I can definitely see this company going to four and above in the next maybe today but in the next week or, or so maybe even over the next month and i wouldn't be surprised if this company doesn't become worth like 500 million if there's enough excitement behind it which would put it at five times this which would be 15 dollars. i wouldn't be surprised with that i'm not saying that that you should buy it on that but i wouldn't be surprised if it does go to 500 million dollar market cap that is crazy that this is jumping like this. So um, keep an eye on it. 
I may get in and play this, but I will wait for it to settle some and find some support. It'll come off of this high, I'm sure, and find some support, get in, ride it to resistance, and get out. I don't hold really any stocks overnight, um, but and I'm not. I would. I definitely don't think I wanted want to get in at this heated level. So I would want to get in probably. Um, probably around 250 ish, 225. If I could find a spot, if I were investing, I would wait for it to cool down and find support off of this, this heat, um, and then hold it from there. I have a good feeling about this company. I really do. So yeah, you do what you will with that information not advising you to buy, not advising you to uh, hold or sell or anything, just telling you what my opinion on it is, and that is that. Okay, this may show up much higher today even, like I said. Um, so if you're in, congrats, um, and hopefully this helps somebody. Hopefully you learned something about the company. Um, that leadership team it looks amazing. The The qualifications are all there. The site looks great. The products look great. We'll see what happens. Okay. Love you all. If you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe. Um, and I hope you have a wonderful, profitable green day. And I will see you all very soon. Bye.